Habit it, habit it, habit it, habit it. Hey yo, what is up, Slavaroonies? Welcome back to the channel, baby. We oh. got the boys, and the boys are on another slabtastic adventure today. Yeah, a little bit weird situation going on. Look, you know, I don't know if you can see that. See it right here. See it down there. We are wearing waders right now. No, we're not in the mountains. No, we're not chasing trout. We're actually going to a creek for a little creek bassin situation and we're we're gonna get in there guys we're gonna get in this stanky nasty city creek we're like pretty much close to downtown raleigh north carolina here not gonna give away this location little little sneaky location we're fishing suburban creeks we're getting in there we're waiting and we're going after some big bass actually guys you can also tell it's actually really really cold it is late march and it decided to just revert on back to late january we actually were going to get on the lake today but there's super super high winds we're talking like you know 30 mile an hour winds uh, so we just go, went ahead and called an audible and came out here where we can kind of get in the woods get down in the creek be out of the wind and hopefully you know this water should still be pretty good if it's not super muddy it should still be pretty good there's been some warm weeks recently the water should be up you know like worst case scenario like upper 50s so i think these fish you know like in theory should be fired up guys so hopefully we can get on a good bite out here today and from what i know just from a little bit of intel that i've gotten uh, about this place there's some big big fish in here i'm talking like five six pound bass in this creek so who knows maybe we can make some magic happen it'd be really sweet to get a big one on camera for you guys but yeah come along guys it's gonna be a sweet adventure let's get it boys Woo. let's get it all right guys the creek is right up here let's see what she looks like oh yeah this is looking good wow here we are guys pretty sweet yeah not too bad not too bad it's a little murky but i think honestly this is like close to fairly normal watercolor for this place so nice A lot of good moving water right here, guys. All right, I think it's time to go ahead and get down here. Oh boy, a little sinky. Oh, just a little sinky. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in quicksand. Yeah, that water's not that cold. That water's warm enough for some some bass to have some fun. All right guys, I've made it over from up there. Uh, we crossed the creek right there and then came around this way and I'm on this island and I've got this deep water in front of me. A lot of clay banks with like holes in them. Those are crawfish holes. I've, I've actually got this guy right here. This is like a tiny little jig. I think it's, a, it's called a Strike King Bitsy Flip. And this is low key, a really good springtime bait to throw, not just in creek situations, uh, but really in any type of early spring situation. Uh, throwing it on a spinning rod, I mean, that's typically what I throw it on. Uh, a lot of people just won't do that. They'll throw, you know, they'll go for a shaky head or a, a Ned rig or a drop shot before they throw like a tiny jig on a spinning rod and then if you do throw a jig you know people usually like to throw it on on bait casting gear but yeah this is a great way to get bites especially when the water is a little bit colder a little bit muddy like this oh and i think i'm getting bit right now guys oh damn yeah i just got bit yeah yeah that was definitely the bitsy bitsy flip that was definitely definitely a bite and there's some there's some rock down there it's pretty deep See if he'll come back but yeah guys this is this is a great bait to use when when fish are keying in on tiny little crawfish and i think this creek situation right here is a great example of that oh yo check out those bubbles over there guys here we're gonna see might be something going on down there it's right next to those bubbles There he is, got him, got him. That's a bass, y'all. Sweet, sweet. Uh, pretty good, yeah. Good for a creek bass, that's for sure. 
Let's go, baby. Woo! Got it. Looky there, guys. Wow, bottom of the lip. You don't usually see them. Guys, look at this. That was hooked like barely skin hooked. Wow. <laughs> That's just showing you they're so finicky right now. Boom. First creek bass of the day, baby. On on the secret bait, guys. This little uh this little bitsy flip right here. Really solid. Just working that thing super slow across the rocks. That's awesome. All right, guys, we're gonna let this guy go. Man, look how fat he is. He's healthy. He's eating really good. See if you can see anything in there. Guarantee you, you can sometimes tell by feeling their belly, but guarantee you he's eating some crawfish in here. And uh, I mean, that's exactly what we were just imitating there. And, and there's a lot of crawls out here. We saw that burrow, so wouldn't be surprised. But let's see if he'll go off. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. See ya, buddy. Awesome, guys, sweet. First fish down, it feels good. Let's get another one. All right, guys, I'm casting back in here. I think uh, there might be some more fish in here. You know, this just seems like a, a place they would like stack up, especially when you get some foul weather like we have today. This is a place that they'll kind of retreat. There's another one. There's another one. That's a better one. That's a better one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, yeah. He's about. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Let's go. Look at that one, guys. That's like a two pounder. Oh, come on up here. Yes, sir. Look at that one. That's a fatty. He's about the same size, honestly. But he's a little bit fatter. Dude, <laughs> sweet boom that one was hooked in the top of the mouth right where you want them i mean look at that like freaking nose piercing right there that's exactly what you want oops don't mean to whack you on the head buddy but boom yes, there it sir. is let's freaking go chunk. that is a chunk nice one not quite you know two pounds but that's that's a nice creek bass right there guys in a little creek situation like this that's a sweet beautiful chunky creek bass awesome so sick guys fish number two on the pretty much the very next cast <laughs> that is awesome so they must be stacked up in there feeding a little bit on some on some crawfish we're gonna let her go nice and easy go on baby she's like doesn't realize she's free yet here she goes Woo -hoo -hoo. see ya bro yeah all right guys let's see if we can make it three for three three on three casts he is somewhere up in here they are on the crawfish today let's go dang it's a little one but it's a bass it's aggressive <laughs> Sick. Let's go, baby. Sick. Dang, look how red he is. Chunker, chunker. Yeah. He's got like no neck. Let's go, Just baby. shoulders and head. <laughs> nice, chunky, tiny little creek bass. That's awesome, though. That is <laughs> yes, awesome. Yes, sir. He's going to freaking go when we let him. Shoo. Oh, yeah. Dude, three fish out of this spot. Let's see how many we can do. Oh, there he is. Oh, geez. What broke? Oh no, it didn't break. My my reel slipped. Hold on, hold on. I might have them. Yep, <laughs> I've got them. <laughs> Something's wrong with my reel right now, but I've got them. Oh, look, look, my line's like wrapped yeah, up around my thing. To... And it's a good bass too. <laughs> no, I got it. I think it, it's fine. I just probably need to grab the line yeah, and hand line it. Here, here, hold them. I'm gonna hand line them. <laughs> I'm hand lining fish right now, guys. Look at this thing. This might be the biggest one yet. No, oh, he's about the same size. Oh, come on in here. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, sweet. Let's go. That was crazy. Oh, he got it. He, he must have uh, hooked right there. Perfect hook, honestly. I set the hook in my freaking, I don't know if y'all can tell what happened there. My, my real like bail basically was not closed all the way. It was probably sitting like that. When I set the hook, the line <laughs> slipped and went like that. Still got him. <laughs> <laughs> Still got him though. Wow, that's hilarious. Look at those yellow eyes. Yellow eyes, yeah, man, that thing is beautiful. Freaking bitsy bug, y'all, just whacking them. Told y'all, this is a secret little bait right here. Y'all need to be throwing one of these this spring. Another sweet little chunky creek bass. 
I'm gonna try to get a dope release here with the uh, Levi's got the Sony. Let's see what she does. Ooh, ooh, man, dude, they just dart off. They just dart. They don't want. They don't want to stick around. They don't want to hang out, you know. But yeah, y'all. Once again, with that Bitsy flip, I was literally just. There's rock down there. There's a deep. That's the deep side of the creek, and you can see it's like a cutout, muddy bank like clay bank that's what you want to look for when you're talking about like early spring crawfish eaten bass especially in creeks but you can look for that same stuff on ponds and lakes like cut out cut out banks where the where there's current that kind of sweeps across it and then of course you've got another situation here where it's this flow is going that way and it's created an eddy and i think right off that muddy point is right kind of where that moving water meets that slack water it's just a it's just a prime prime situation and they are loving this little crawfish imitation down there oh really oh you got one yeah yes let's go yeah it is is that a crappie no way it's a crappie no way it's a big crappie dude let's go that's a slab right there sick no way what on earth Look at that, a dude. Slab, bro. That is awesome. What? Man, look at that. Sick. So he hit the MEPS. Yeah, he hit the MEPS. This little guy right here, y'all. Boom. Weird, Tiny little spinner. Dope. Slays yeah. the panfish. So <laughs> we got bass and we got crappie in here. We probably got some brim. Let's see. Let's see if we can get the, the creek slam. I wouldn't even consider a crappie a, a creek fish at all, though, you know? Yeah. That is a rare find in a creek. Oh, Levi's got one, guys. Levi's got one. Is that a good one? Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty decent bass right there. Oh, guys, we got action all over the place. Look hey. at that. That's a fatty, dude. Look at that chunk. It's like, like, like pink almost. Yeah. Hey, so I was just dragging the jig across the bottom per Steven's advice, and uh, yeah, he thumped it. He thumped it good. Chunky little guy. Yeah, they thump that thing, man. They really do. Like a bunch of times. It gave, I'm usually pretty slow on the hook set, so works out good for me. Right, I'm gonna get a release on this thing. Sure. Oh boy, look at him go. There's a mud trail like six feet. <laughs> Yo, right here. Yes, sir. Sick. Y'all know that the creek. You oh, call right. that thing over there. It looks like this the whole way. Yeah, we should maybe make our way back up there. It's the spillway that comes out of that pond. Oh, okay. So, I'm sure some fish end up like washing down. Look it up here, guys. This is a nice little vantage point. I feel like a, a great blue heron. Nice. Bass? It's a crappie? Dude, slaying the crappie. <laughs> and there's the act right here. That's, that's crazy. Nice, aggressive, tiny little crappy. Let's get a sweet release on. See you, bud. There he goes. There's one. Is that another crappy? It That's is, dude. Crappie. It's a big crappy. <laughs> oh my gosh. We need to do a catch and cook right now, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a giant crappie. You know what that is right there, Levi. It's a slab. Yeah, I think there is. This one isn't quite as big as the other one. All right, bud. It's a third crappie in the row. There he goes. Ooh, okay, a little update. Um, we are leaving the magic spot. I know it's magic. There's crappie in here, there's bass, there's all sorts of crazy stuff going on but we're actually gonna make our way downstream and do a little exploring guys we should run into some different situations down here we've obviously got a lot of like moving water in this creek we're gonna do some of that hopefully it warms up i think the sun coming out might have made a little bit of a difference uh, up in this hole the sun's kind of gone away and uh, we haven't gotten bitten maybe like five ten minutes so we're gonna go down there if we find any other big holes that's gonna be key we're gonna stop and really soak those with the jigs the slow moving baits and maybe cj will find some more crappie with the meps uh, who knows i'll play clean up yeah <laughs> let's get it
This looks real good. Look at this rock. Dang. Yeah, they might bit the bite the bitsy bug down there. Man, there's got to be a bass sitting down in the end of that thing. him that's him oh dang do you see my rod going tick, 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 tick. something small down there messing with him something tiny they keep they keep pecking at the trailer they really like this trailer yeah Oops. Danger zone, danger zone, danger zone, no! Tricky casting up in here. There's one. Little guy. Oh, this guy's pretty. This guy's pretty. Wow, look at him. So cool. It's pretty clear water up here. Put him right at the top of the mouth on the bitsy flip. Perfect. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Super red eyes. It's just aggressive, mean little dude. Mean little creek bass. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Don't let him go here real quick. It goes peace i think we should uh maybe continue our way upstream this doesn't look too shabby right here we got a bend in the river it looks like it goes up actually up straight and curves back a little bit but looks pretty good we might as well try There he is. Sweet. What are you? A little bass. He's coming right here. Oh. Woo. Jump for me, baby. Yes, sir. Another little bass, guys. Sweet. Came upstream a little bit here. It's been slow, but uh, this guy bit right off of that big log right there, and I couldn't hook him, and then cast it back there. He came back. Come on in. Nice one. So sick, guys. It's been such an awesome day. We freaking whacked them. Most most of them in one spot, but really, you know, like we went down to the spillway, caught a little one, came upstream a little bit, caught one. It's been a solid day. And this, this little dude right here has gotten the job done. Sometimes you have a hunch on a bait and it doesn't always work out, <laughs> but today it worked out. I had a hunch. I tied this on before we even got down here. I was like, you know what? This place has got muddy banks, got crawfish. This little dude's gonna whack them. And sure enough, it has smacked these little creek bass. This has been a fun, fun trip catching these little dudes. All right, see ya, buddy. Last fish of the day right here. Beautiful. Yes, sir, baby. Catching creek bass, gotta love it early spring you know all the hype is on the lakes right now people are catching big bass on the lakes but the creeks don't sleep on the creeks the creeks can be just as juicy as the big water in the pre-spawn so get you a little jig get you a little bitsy flip get out here and go target some muddy banks some steep banks deep water catch you some chunky creek bass and hey remember all it takes is one baby slab out <laughs>